Here we are, Captain Al's down and dirty flounder rig. You know, a lot of times I start flounder fishing, I'll do that for a couple hours, then I might want to swing over and do some fluke fishing, whatever. So what I like to do on all of my low profile bait casting reels, on the end of the line, I like to put one of these uh, quick clips, these connectors, Alberto Neem makes them, uh, Tactical Angler, they're great, they come in three sizes. I'm using the biggest size here, the largest, just for visibility and doing this little video clip. But uh, I would prefer in this rig to use a smaller one. Uh, anyway, what I like to do is, the end of my fishing line, I have this attached on my low profile bait casters, as I said. And I can, once I make this rig that I use for flounder, I can simply put the rig onto this clip. Then if I want to swing over and start fluke fishing, I can quickly remove it and I can hook my little special uh, bay fluke fishing rig right onto it by hooking this into the true turn swivel. So it's very convenient to use this. Uh, let me show you what I do here. It's very simple. Basically you need a couple of flounder hooks, a dipsy swivel. You have to use a, a dipsy uh, sinker. You have to use a sinker that's got a small, uh, you know, little copper eye to it. You can't use a cast sinker because it's just too thick and it won't, won't slip onto the quick clip rig. So dipsy sinkers work very well. I take my two flounder hooks. I like to use a number nine Chestertown with the little plastic bead, the little yellow plastic bead. And I simply fold one over in half, take the eye of the second hook, push it over that folded half, and then run the hook and the bead through that loop, bring them tight. And then what I want to do now is I want to make a half hitch on both sides of that little loop connection. That keeps it from slipping. So I do a half hitch on the upper side. Snug that up a little bit. And then I just turn it over and I do a half hitch on the opposite side of the loops. And it's nice and snug. The two hooks are joined and they won't spin around or slip. So now that I have my little tandem hook arrangement all set up, uh, all I have to do is take my quick clip, take the eye of the tandem hook, run it through the clip, attach it, take the dipsy sinker and slide it right through as well. And you have the finished product. Very simple, easy. Uh, a good rig to use for bottom fishing. You can use it for flounder or anything else you want. If you're porgy fishing or something like that, it works. Um, and like I said, with this clip, I simply have to undo it, snap on my fluke rig, and I'm ready to go fluke fishing without tying all kinds of crazy knots. You know, when I have people on board, they want to fish. They don't want to be wasting time watching me tying knots. So it's simple, it's easy, and it's quick. For product links and more information, check out the video's description on YouTube. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to click on the settings, then check Send Me Updates, and we will keep you up to date with the latest tips, products, and fishing reports.